hi y'all and welcome back to my channel for those that are new hi hello how are you my name is Melissa and I'm so happy that you decided to stop by okay so today's video is going to be a come book shopping with me and book haul video so I recently went to McKay's and I picked up a bunch of books so I am really excited to haul them with you all but first let's do some book shopping together so I did the book shopping on another day so we're gonna go ahead and go back in time and do a little book shopping together and then we'll come back and go over all the books I was able to find. So many options I mainly go to McKay's for historical romances because I want some step backs and that seems to be the only place I can find them like they don't make them anymore with like the newer books so your girl has been on the search for a lot of step backs and that is always a great place to find them for historical romances but I also of course picked out some other books while I was there and I'm so excited to share them with y'all because some of these have been on my TBR for a good minute and I've just been like eyeballing them but at the prices that they were I was like you know what take a chance on me <laughs> so I am excited to add them to my TBR so without further ado let's just go ahead and get into the books that I was able to pick up because they are some good books y'all the first one is going to be the farewell tour so I picked this up immediately because it was giving me Opal and Nev vibes it was giving me Daisy Jones in the six vibes but make it country so we're gonna be pretty much following our girl as she is going on her final tour before she retires and she is going back to her hometown where it all started but she's super nervous just because of all of the things that transpired in her hometown and led up to this tour so it is going to be dual timelines we're going to be going back in time with her as well as following her in the present on her tour I love a musical based book I love that this book already was giving me familiar vibes that other books have as well but this one is going to be more of a countryside and it's set in a completely different time period I believe this book also mentions that like yeah she was young during the depression and the second war so it's gonna be really interesting because it also ends in the 80s so everything is gonna be going on back in time and especially in time periods that I'm not familiar with I haven't read a lot of books that take place during that time like the Great Depression I haven't read a lot of books that take place in that time so I am really excited to read this it also of course is gonna end in Nashville Nashville is gonna be her hometown so I just love that this is gonna have like these country vibes to it the next book is going to be flipping the script and this book is a contemporary one about this girl who has to 
to work with this horrible host because she works at a television station and the host that she is stuck working with is just such a horrible person to work with and our girl is just like you know what I want to get promoted and get a bonus and get out of being trapped as like her assistant and her go-to person and I want to move up in the company to move away from her and our girl winds up writing out this whole new year's resolution to kind of help her with her way there she's like I'm gonna read my bible more I'm gonna trust god more I'm gonna work out more I'm gonna do less caffeine like she has this whole entire list that she has and long and behold the horrible host winds up getting her hands on it and decides to make it into a weekly show so they're going to be following her while she tries to complete all of her new year's resolutions so they're going to be following her throughout the whole entire year to see if she can do what she says she wants to do and the caveat on this is that if she does do everything she says she's going to do on her new year's list then they are going to promote her if not then that's going to be the end of her career she's going to be stuck with this woman so the stakes are like super high with this and it's a lot of like messiness as well i was reading through the summary and there's like her ex-boyfriend comes back out because she's why i'm getting all this fame so he of course wants to like piggyback on there the host's fiance turns out to be a really great guy and our girl's like wait a minute is he yours or is he mine so i'm just really excited about this this sounds like it's going to be like a messy good time but like also we're going to see our girl really grow and discover like what is a relationship with God is for her so I am excited to read this so the next book that I picked was Anna K so I have seen this book everywhere especially when it first came out but I don't know I just could never like bring myself to pick it up I think this cover is cute but it never like grabbed me but I finally said you know what let me just go ahead and pick up this book so Anna K is going to be a YA contemporary romance type book our girl is at the very top of New York society Society. she has everything together by the book that she can think of she has the perfect boyfriend she makes the age she makes her father proud like she is just that girl but secretly our girl is just like do I really know myself and along the way she meets this guy and they wind up falling in love and she winds up thinking like have I ever been in love until I met him and they go on this journey together but like this huge thing happens and it kind of turns everything upside down and our girl starts to question does she ever really know herself or the things that she wants out of life or has she just been kind of going down the path that you're supposed to go down so I am interested in finally giving this a read I didn't know that she was like New York elitist girl so that's always like exciting for me to read about those type of things in the summer so I may be reading this soon in a reading vlog okay so those were like all of the hardcover books that I got but while I was there I also picked up some book of the month hardcovers because a lot of people like turn those in as well so the first book of this group is going to be the rewind and the thing that really got me on this one is the fact that it says tonight they'll fall in love like it's 1999 it immediately made me think of Prince <laughs> <laughs> so I was like okay you trigger something that I like so let me go ahead and pick this book up and the premises behind it is like a fun premises so it's these exes that wind up running into each other at a wedding and they wind up having to confront each other and one thing leads to the next and they don't know what happened but the following day she wakes up with his grandmother's ring on their finger and so they're like are we married and so they have to go back rewind from the events and figure out what exactly happened the night before the big millennium in which they wind up getting engaged because it was on New Year's Eve so I'm really excited to read this one I feel like so many possibilities are there with this type of summary so I'm really excited to just see where we go with this and where it takes us the next book I have is going to be happy and you know it so this book is going to be about a girl who winds up taking on this job to singing to rich babies and along the way she winds up getting entangled with the rich women who babies that she is singing to um that's like pretty much all I know it's supposed to be like this funny witty but like dark thriller as well so I'm excited to see how this goes I feel like anytime that there's like rich people involved in elite society with weird requests like having someone singing for like a play group of babies it is bound to be a good time I also just really like this cover that it had like those fun little pins on it because you know your girl she collects mystery pins so this also just spoke to me in that 
that way. The next book is going to be Husbands and Lovers. So this book is going to be about these two women who live in completely different decades of time but they are tied together by this weird family heirloom that they have and we're just going to follow their journey and their connection with this heirloom through the husbands they've had and the lovers that they had as well. So yeah that alone I love that. I love when we get to spend time in like the present as well as the past and this seems like this is going to be definitely be giving us this. I believe it's going to start in like 1922. It's the first ladies timeline but yeah this just sound like such a great time. The other book of the month book I have is going to be called The Husbands. So this book is pretty much about this woman who winds up coming home and this man greets her and he's like hi wife and she's like how is that possible because I don't have a husband but everything about their life says that she does. Even her friends are like yeah you guys are married what are you talking about? So our girl's kind of like maybe it's just me and I forgot that I have a husband but long and behold the guy goes up into the attic one day to change a light bulb and down comes a different man completely and her whole life reforms again around what her life would look like with this new husband. So our girl is like how do I have an attic that anytime a man goes up there a different husband winds up coming down. So we just kind of explore her navigating this type of situation like when is the right husband's enough when is the right life enough how when do you stop trying to make things better and just accept it for what it is so i'm really excited to just read this book i think that sounds so out there the idea alone but like also i can wrap my head around it so i'm really excited to read this one okay and now we get into some of the paperbacks that i picked out so the first one is going to be redeeming love so i recently just been seeing this like all over my book talk so I was like let me just go ahead and pick this up it says like over 1 million copies have been sold so I said you know what say less let me pick it up so this book is going to take place in 18 50s and our girl is pretty much living during the gold rush men are like absolutely horrible and she winds up being sold into prostitution so she winds up being a prostitute and she's just like really bitter with men and she just cannot trust them and she hates them and then long and behold she meets this guy named Michael and she hates him as well but in that time period men still had the power and he felt called by God to marry her so he winds up marrying her and he shows to her that like you know men are good he loves her unconditionally he treats her right he does all of these wonderful things and it starts to soften our girl a little bit more and then she starts to wake up in a different type of sense of like am I even deserving of this type of love and like how could he want somebody like me so she, she winds up running away from him and along the way she has to start to realize even though Michael is as great as he is there is someone who is even greater than him that loves her even more so I am just really excited to read this book like I said it's just been all over my book talk so when I saw this at the store I was like you know what let me just go ahead and pick her up the next book is going to be all roads lead here so once again this is a girl that's just been on my book talk like all of the time so I wind up picking this up once I saw it um there really isn't a lot of a summary to this book it literally says losing people you love is hard Aurora de la Torre knows moving back to a place that was once home is it going to be easy starting your whole life over probably isn't supposed to be but a small town in the mountains might be the perfect remedy for a broken heart checking out her landlord across the driveway just might cure it too that's all I got and you know what that's all I'm going to take with this I am getting more into like the small town based romances I'm also trying to do the ones of like people who are actually from there my favorite are like city girl winds up in small town but you know we're broadening our horizons right now so I'm excited to pick this one up I've also heard good things about this author she did this book right here I can't think of the name but this is the cover of it and it had something to do with like ice skating and like all the girlies loved it and I heard good things about this one as well the next one is going to be a adult romance it is makeup breakup so this book is going to be about two app designers this is going to be a rivals to lovers book and so our leading girl she makes this app for people with a failing relationship to kind of help them make up and start over again and then our leading guy he creates a app that is called breakup so he is here to help you just put it in to these relationships and keep it moving so both of their apps are really popular 
popular and they wind up having to compete against each other for this competition and our girl is so upset because now she has to work alongside the man whose whole app goes against everything that she believes in and so our girl also really needs to win this competition because her app is failing people prefer to just break up than to make up so our girl is just very upset about this and also long and behold they did have a fling a few summers ago so our girl is just like all up in her feelings this is not a fine time for her <laughs> she is very upset to be here but as she works alongside him in this competition she starts to wonder did I really know you or did I just know the facade that you had for everyone else so once again I'm really excited about this book as well I love a good rivals to lovers and this seems like it's gonna be given that as well as the fact that it's kind of like in a tech industry and I haven't really read a lot of books about the tech industry so I'm glad that like this is based Based in like an area that I'm not familiar with reading and now we have arrived at the historical romance <laughs> section of this the reason for the book haul the reason for the trip the reason for it all so let's go ahead and get into these because some of these step backs are gorgeous so I will definitely be showing you them the first one is going to be chasing Cassandra so let's see that step back oh it's absolutely gorgeous so I have read a book from this series already it is going to be this one the cold hearted rake and I did enjoy it as well so I'm really excited to be reading this one point of this book is going to be about like our girl so this guy he just really thinks she's absolutely gorgeous and he has like all this rich money and everything and he pretty much gets whatever he wants but he does not believe in love he just feels like she will compliment his lifestyle so he asked her to marry him and she's like no I only believe in marrying for love but long and behold this huge scandal comes about that almost ruins her reputation so she winds up accepting his offer but he gets her hand but she's like you know what you're gonna have to earn this love so we follow their journey and falling in love and I'm just like really excited about this this is not my first time with this Arthur I have read previous books by her so I am excited to keep on with this and like apparently continue on the series the next book is going to be Lady Sophia's Lover and here is the step back for this one so this this book is gonna be pretty much about our girl she really really wants our leading man she said by any means necessary sir I need to get you but it's not for the reasons that you expect she wants him because she wants to get him in the most notorious scandal possible she wants to ruin this man's reputation we do not know why but that is her goal she infiltrates into his house she's always around him brushing his arm our girl said I am going to get you into a scandal but along the way she finds out that like he is not being a dishonorable man instead he offers to marry her and she's just like what in the world is happening here and am I falling in love with him while this is happening so I'm just excited to know about this because I want to know why this woman is so bit on destroying this man's reputation and like how was he able to like change her mind and everything and how were they able to fall in love so I'm really excited about this the next one I picked up is going to be the heiress and here is the step back for this one so this book is pretty much going to be about our girl she is looking for a poor gentleman to marry because her father has a huge debt with the casino and she thinks that if she marries a poor guy then he'll just be so grateful for her dowry that he'll allow her to use it to pay off her father's debt but long and behold other things start to pop up that's trying to block this union between the two of them and our girl's freaking out because she needs this money but our man winds up stepping up to the plate to kind of help with this union as well so I'm just you know the plot got me I am very interested in where these girls this is one of the thing about historical romances I feel like they have just high levels of scandal in them <laughs> I feel like because there is no distractions of like televisions or like media or anything for them the scandals have to be scandalous so I am really excited to read this book the next one is going to be an English broad in Scotland so here is the step back for this one so this book is pretty much going to be about our leading girl. She was supposed to be a nun and right when she's about to become one, her mother runs up there and she's like, actually, 
pause on that your sister has ran away and she has a betrothed husband here and we need his money so you're gonna have to go ahead and marry him instead so our girl she winds up marrying him and our leading man is kind of like you know what you're not what I expected but you're not bad on the eyes so I don't mind getting to know you a little bit better and of course he winds up falling in love with her but long and behold there's like a threat on her life and our man is like I will move the highlands to protect my woman so this book is just going to be following all of that and I am so excited I love highland romances that take place in that whole area per se that was like my first historical romance book I read took place during that time period so I am super excited to be reading this book the next book I picked up is going to be heart of a warrior so the cover is pretty bland and then that is the step back so this is like my first historical romance with like a warrior as the center of it so our leading guy in this he is going to be a warrior from like overseas and he finds himself in california and at our girl's doorstep and our girl's like you know what i like you you can stay around but he is like no i'm a true warrior and i have expectations for the type of women that i am involved where like the women always do as they say and our girl's like no <laughs> that's not me <laughs> you have to go and he's like no i love you so i am willing to fight for that love so i am really excited to read this one it will be my first warrior historical romance so i am really excited and also this author is a new one for me so we'll see how this goes it sounds like it has the potential to be really great and the last historical romance i picked up is going to be seduce me at sunrise and this is going to be the step back for this one so this is pretty much going to be kind of a second chance romance so our guy has been in love with our leading girl ever since our family saved him when he was just a little boy and he's like okay I'm obsessed with her but he didn't feel like he would be worthy of her and he kind of let the years go by and then there was this twist of faith happen and our girl winds up leaving the country and then she comes back to England and he's like I'm kind of through with love I don't care I'm just gonna let Wynne go do her own stuff but then a suitor comes out the blue and our man's like wait a minute no 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 change of plans that's a no for me um i need to get her back so our guy winds up getting into competition against this guy to be a suitor for win and i'm just excited about this like this got all the makings for a good one we have our second chance romance we have them competing for our love our guy and his redemption story so i am just really excited to read this one as well so those were all of the books I wind up picking up and I'm really excited like I mentioned to read all of them but also I was able to pick up some Funko Pops because they sell those there as well they sell up so many different things so I wanted to show the first one which is going to be this cute gingerbread spider-man i have like a whole spider-man collection so i really wanted to get this one he looks so cute in person and then this was the saga one one of my favorite graphic novel series ever so i'm really excited to have this one i think i want to get him as well and just kind of have the whole family sitting on top of those books but yeah i'm really excited to have those if you want to see them like out of their boxes and everything make sure to follow me on my my TikTok because that's where I do all my unboxings of my Funkos and like mystery pins and a lot of other fun things so make sure you follow me on there and you'll be able to see like all of my other like spider-man ones as well so really excited about that super excited about all of these books you already know some of these are going to be featured in some future reading vlogs so make sure that you subscribe so you can watch them i am really excited about these books y'all this was like a really great haul i got some new books i got some historical romances i'm just really excited about this so that is it for today's video if you made it all the way to the end please feel free to leave behind this emoji to let me know that you did and as mentioned earlier all of my social medias will be linked down below so you can always follow me on other platforms there and until next time bye